All right, switching to baseball again, guys. The Alexander Dawson Mustangs in Boulder County hoping to defend their state 2A baseball championship this season. Now, the Mustangs have done a lot of good things on the field, but what they did off the field this spring, that was extraordinary. Dawson went on a road trip to Cuba. Here's Troy with more on this historic trip. Yeah, Lionel, it was two years in the making these boys planned this trip. The Alexander Dawson players, they wanted to find a unique way to give back while also creating an unforgettable experience. Here is their story. You probably have heard the story about a high school baseball team fleeing to sunshine for spring break. But you probably have not heard about this team and this spring break. A few weeks ago, Alexander Dawson, the reigning Class 2A champs, packed 700 pounds of donated equipment and headed to Cuba as one of the first American teams to visit the country. A lot of the equipment was our own at one point, stuff that we felt very sentimental about. I think that was the really uh, important part about it. Motivated by Clemente, who speaks Spanish, the idea hatched two years ago as historic tension between the United States and Cuba eased and diplomatic relations became restored. It took hours of work by players, parents, and the generosity of many other rival schools to pull this trip off. I think we were kind of maybe a little hesitant on my part just to see, you know, what had changed going, you know, being a child of the 60s, you know, you kind of, you grew up with Cuba and totally different. I mean, they, they want the tourism. They, you know, I believe they want the Americans to come and the people, the people are just super, they're friendly. While in Cuba, Alexander Dawson's boys lived the contrast. They practiced in a national stadium on the first day. It felt like a big league field. They learned Cuban's favorite players are still in Cuba, not in the big leagues. The Dawson boys staged two clinics in lesser developed areas of Havana for more than 100 kids. Those moments became seared into the players' brains as they worked with kids, in some cases, who had never seen a white baseball with seams. This one kid is asking everyone for gloves and like pulling on their shirts, and I went back there and I got him a fresh baseball out of the um, plastic, and I gave it to him and he was just like, took off with it, and his mom was like, here, let's put in their bag so the coach doesn't see, but he was like, no, and he ran off to the alpha and was just playing catch with it. As part of their nine-day stay, the players performed community service, clearing a field for an 80-year-old farmer, and building mangroves in the ocean. But the similarities resonated as the players found baseball remains a universal language. It was really you know, a trip of a lifetime, I hope, for these kids here. In all, nine local schools, a uniform company, and the town of Erie provided equipment for this unforgettable trip for Alexander Dawson. Yes, these boys, they managed to pack 700 pounds of equipment by getting up to the frontier counter and just literally, Lionel, packing baseballs one another, the weight until they got each bag to 50-pound max. A great trip. Thank you to Alexander Dawson for spending some time with us. Nice job, Troy. Great story. Thanks.